Now, when we talk about education, it's always exciting when we get good news in the education sector. And today we're going to share with you some excellent news regarding a Blue Girl Senior High School and their robotics group. Okay, so let's say a very good morning to Kafui Brenda Amegavi and Frank. She's a science student and the organizing secretary of the Abri Girls Robotics Club. Keisha Louisa Eteria is a general arts student and she's a robotics member in the Abri Girls Robotics Club. And Philip Yaodonko is a teacher and patron of the Abri Girls Robotics Club. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. And and welcome to Breakfast Daily. Thank you. Now, I think congratulations are in order because we understand your school has been selected to represent Ghana at yes. this year's first global challenge in Geneva, Switzerland from the 13th to 16th of October. Yes, please. Congratulations. Thank you. How did this all come into fruition? Okay, um, it all started last year mm -hmm. and we were selected again to participate in this same competition. But because last year, um, band was actually placed on traveling ah, COVID. because of COVID. <laughs> and so we had online kind of competition. Okay. And then we needed to launch a satellite. And then we had to do some other projects. Okay. So based, we, we had about 170 countries participating in wow. this uh, competition. Mm -hmm. And we came out as 36th. Out of 170 plus yes. countries. Yes. Aside that, there was other aspects of the competition. Mm -hmm. And then um, the health sector of the competition, we came out second. Wow. And because of this great performance, we had a chance to be selected this time around wow. to represent Ghana. You should be so proud of yourselves. Yes. Okay. So we play second in the health sector component. Yes. What please. did that entail? What did you have to do? For okay, that part the, of the health sector component of the whole competition, we made face marks. Okay using um, um, plantain, yeah, the, 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 the stem of plantain. Okay. Yes, the student did a marvelous kind of thing and like wow. it's so wow. That's and like, I that's... think that is what is being shown on the screen currently. Okay. Yes. These were made from plantain? Yes, please. Really? So they're basically biodegradable face masks. Yes, please. Which is very important because we know face masks are causing a lot yes. of waste, right? Yes. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. No wonder you placed... I wonder who placed first and what they did. Because this is great, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But, but we're glad that got you to the competition. Okay, yes, let me talk to our students here. So, uh, Kafui, you're a science student. Keisha, you're a general arts student. Mm -hmm. I'm intrigued by that. I was a general arts student when I was in school. Um, but a lot of people, when they think of something like robotics, they'll think of science. So, as a general arts student, how did you get involved in the robotics club? And what do you say to non-science students who think... I can't do robotics, it's for science students. Okay, so in our world right now, we realize that the, the global economy is advancing on the wheels of technology and lots of things are happening, like things are changing and it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be okay if you lag behind, not understanding what's happening, like not getting the understanding you need to be able to operate a machinery, like know what's going on. Okay. So when you learn these things, it puts you in a place where you be confident if you're faced with such a situation where you have to I don't know, operate a technological device or anything. And for the non-science students out there, there are no limits. There is science and technology in everything, science and math, you need it for everything. Mm -hmm. So branching into that sector, you shouldn't be afraid. It's just the normal thing we do every day and you can just incorporate and improvise. I love that. Don't be limited by your course of study. Yeah. Broaden your horizons, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're both, what years are you in, in, in secondary? In second year. Yeah. Second year? Yes, Third year. Third year, okay. So Kafui, talk to us. So you are the organizing secretary. How do you organize your members such that you get together and make your way to international competitions like this? Thank you. So in a school like we girls, it's not easy getting the time, <laughs> yeah. especially as robotics girls, because we need to constantly be in the lab mm -hmm. working because mm -hmm. it's not easy. But um, we organize ourselves, we, we send information across through classes and all that. Oh. So we come together, we make sure we work daily, okay. like building, programming, we make sure we have competitions wow. amongst ourselves so that we can 
achieve the goal we aim at. In addition to all of your other responsibilities and your coursework, and you're a final year student, so you've got WASI yes. to think about. My goodness, and all the best with that. Thank okay? you. Okay, all the best. Now, what have you brought here today? What's, what's in front of you? Okay. That is Yaki KFC. Yeah. Okay. Actually, um, this prototype has been made to help serve okay. in the various restaurants. I see. And not only in the restaurants, actually, when it is really built, it can go around and then deliver. So you just order online and then it will deliver for you. Yes, so instead of calling the dispatch, the yes. normal, this, this will yes. appear at your house yes, with what you ordered. Yes, please. Now, you said this is a prototype, but yes. does it work to an extent? Like yes, it does to work to some extent. Okay, yes. show us what it can do. So they will do that. Okay, great. So over to you, ladies. Now, what's the name of it again? <laughs> Yak KFC. Yak <laughs> Yeah, KFC. Yo, one yeah, KFC. Let me show us what, what it can do. Okay. Hey, Google, speak to ya. Sorry. Talk to ya. I was just thinking about my favorite jams. I'd love to talk music with you. Sorry. <laughs> talk to ya, KFC. Welcome to KFC. I am Yar and I am here to assist you to place your order. What type of menu do you want? Deals. Just for me. Okay. For sharing. Sure. Or box meal. Just for me. Okay. Under just for me, we have one. Streetwise one with chips. Which conscience? One piece of chicken OR or hot and crispy and a regular chips and goes for 15 NAR sides. Two. Streetwise two with chips. Which conscience? Two pieces of chicken OR or hot and crispy and a regular chips and goes for Streetwise one. Sides. Three. Streetwise three with chips. Which mm -hmm. conscience? Three pieces of chicken OR. Okay. We'll fast forward. So, yeah. Sure. Well, uh, you mean you want to order Streetwise three with chips? So when, when you confirm, mm -hmm. then the robot comes to oh, to it. It will come. Yeah. So yeah. eventually you get it to the point where yes. it will travel yes. Yes. all the way. Yes. Yes. So the app, as you were talking, you were talking sounded like through Siri or you know a voice activated as you know assistant. Did you develop that as well, or how how did that well, work? We used um, Google Assistant to program wow. it. Yes. yes. This is fantastic. This is just the beginning. Um, and I hope Ministry of Education, Science, Technology and Innovation are watching so they can support our girls to advance this to the next level. Now, for your trip to Switzerland, who's, who's funding that? How are you getting support for that? Um, actually, we need the support from all stakeholders. Okay. okay. Yes, parents are trying their best to also raise some funds. But actually, the money is so huge that... We need support from the stakeholders. How much do you need to raise to go? We need about 30,000 US dollars. For how many? For 10 um, students. For 10 students yes, to go. Please. And of course, you'll accompany them. Yes, please. So about 11 people in total? Yeah. Or a few more? A few more. For $30,000? Yes, please. There are people watching who can do that. I can't do that. But I can talk about it <laughs> so that people can do that. Um, there are corporate entities that can do that. One of them we mentioned here on the show, you just got some free publicity. So the company that was just mentioned, if you're watching or someone there is watching, maybe you can send our girls to Switzerland and support them to live their dream there and to showcase Ghana, which is what all of this is about, to showcase the kind of talent and innovation and brilliance that we have here in Ghana and to take it to an international stage. So please, again, whether you're an individual, a corporate entity, or someone who can make this happen for our Abri girls, Please do that. Now, do you have, how are you raising the funds? If people want to send you something, how do they do that? So any form of sponsorship they want to bring to their school, I wish that they can give it to CTFM and we can easily. Okay, that's, that's a different conversation we'll have to have. Okay. But I think outside of that, you need some channels where people can get in touch with you directly. Yes, please. Um, so maybe we, we can talk about so that. We'll be giving you the school's 
bank accounts. Okay, the school so has that, a bank account. Yes, so that I can okay. channel it through it, and then I think it will be in the right direction. Okay. Do you have anything on social media talking about this, where people can just go on their social media and see what you're doing and what you want to do? Yes, we have Instagram okay. accounts. So What's the handle? Also, um, Ibri Girls Robotics. Okay, yes. that's, that's it? Yes. So Ibrigals. people can look for you on Instagram? Yes. Please. How about Facebook? We are not there yet. Yeah. Will be TikTok. <laughs> That's where everybody is now. You need to be on TikTok showcasing all of this. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram at least so that people can support you. When is the competition? October? Yes, please. So you need to raise the funds very soon. Very soon. Okay. So let's make the appeal again. If you're out there watching and you can support and little drops make a big ocean as well. So, and you know, for convenience sake, you know what works. Yes. The Momo thing. Yes. There's an app called Chango. If you sign up on Chango, you can crowdfund. And with that, you can even put videos of what you're doing. And it goes all over the world. People can donate from any country. Okay, so these are all things you can think about as you're looking to raise the funds to go to Switzerland. And we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Please, please, I'll, please I'll go like out there and make us proud. The, I tell the whole world they're competition for this year. Okay. So... Yes, so, is that, so there's a specific thing that you're going to do this year. in Switzerland that all the participants will, will do. Yeah. Okay, what is that? Um, this year is about carbon capture. Oh. Like the theme is carbon capture. Okay. You see how carbon dioxide is going into the atmosphere mm -hmm. and trapping heat on Earth. It's disturbing because there's global warming and climate change. So the whole theme is like creating a robotics competition to portray the whole um, trapping carbon or capturing carbon so that it doesn't go out into the atmosphere mm. and cause damage. So we are trying to like um, minimize the amount of carbon dioxide that is created okay. to limit um, global warming and climate change. Mm. So the robotics competition, we are capturing carbon balls mm. and mm. throwing them into a sink which is to show that we are storing carbon. So yes, that, that's basically what it's about. What it's about. Yes. Okay, great. We'll be looking forward to seeing you there. Okay? Yes, yes. So thank you for joining us here, for thank sharing you so your talent much. with us, and all the best. You're going to Switzerland. Yes, okay, we'll get you there. You. Thanks so much. So let's support them. Let's support them. We'll be right back.